What exactly will Houston look like in the year 2050? That's the question posed to dozens of local students. And as Kat Cosley now tells us, those students were not only asked to think about the future, they were asked to design it. So the winner this year of Energy City of the Future 2050 Middle School Competition goes to team number 10 from the Village School. This is Kaipo Energy. So what is the Energy City of the Future competition and exactly what does it take to win? We're going to go find out. Um, so this is our vision for Houston in 2050. All these roads here are not outlined with asphalt but instead with solar panels. For the past 11 weeks, 44 students from different schools across the city worked diligently. Here we have wind turbines which would go in the highways. Creating these elaborate projects. We don't have like any roads or anything because we're thinking more like a green city without any cars or anything like that. Students are grouped together by school in 11 teams of four. What we do is we design a challenge for them. We, we talk about the main industries inside of Houston and it's geared so that middle school students, high school students can participate and they're challenged to understand energy, the different forms of energy and how they interact inside of a city to make it run. Here we have Energy Elementary. It has greenery on the top so in the winter it insulates heat. Um, there are the rock wall, basketball courts and uh, the swings. They will be have kinetic mats under them, so if they run, jog, slam dunk, swing, they will collect energy and it will be used on the school. And as you can see, they were pretty creative with their inventions. We had a bunch of recycled stuff, so we just kind of like started stacking things and trying to make buildings and we used bottle caps as our bicycle racks. I mean, I thought that uh, it was nice being creative and stuff. Judges, are you ready? So you have a greenhouse here, what is this here? This is like what apartments and stuff is like. Students were judged not only on their model scales, but two additional components. Houston Energy City of the Future 2050, where everything is green, gray, and gorgeous. A PowerPoint presentation. Crude oil, nuclear, liquefied natural gas. And a public service announcement. We picture better Houston for the future. And while they are all winners, only two teams could take the title and scholarship reward money. Both middle and high school winners were from the Village School. Congratulations. Thank you. you have to be so excited. What are you going to do with the money? Save it. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about your model. What are we seeing here? This is Houston in 2050. We're trying to make Houston a more environmentally clean and self-sufficient place for people to live. In 2050, we would like to implement a magnetic levitation train. Some of the main sources of energy that we have are liquefied natural gas and solar power. Why is this event so important to you guys? Houston, if we, if we keep going on like this, then pollution is really going to start uh, affecting our lives and, and really making it difficult just in general. So this kind of you know, gets us thinking about what we can do once uh, we're old enough to do something. And that, organizers say, is really the crux of it all. Kids can start to see the application towards their future and, and what they would study in college. We're here on a college campus today. They toured the classrooms. They're starting to connect those dots between why is it important to learn these math and sciences. What's next? Get some sleep? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, this was completely an after-school project. A lot of time and energy, but certainly for the betterment of our city and its future. And don't forget, winning students will receive awards and have their cities on display at this year's Energy Day Festival Saturday in front of City Hall. I'm Kat Cosley. Yes, children are the future of energy. There is somebody out there who is going to find the next big solution to our energy problem. We don't know where that child is right now, but we certainly want to do whatever possible to provide the environment for that child to think innovatively. An environment like Energy Day 2012. For more information, just go to energydayfestival.org or our website, abc13.com. I'm Tom Abrams. Thanks for joining us.